In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to do entity-based alignments. So we've got this engine here that um, has been 3D scanned into separate pieces. So if we look over here, we've got the cylinder head, the engine block, the turbo, uh, the cover, cam chain cover, and we've got also the crankshaft at the bottom. Um, so we've just been scanning it separately and using entities to help align each part onto uh, the engine block. So we're going to have a look at this water uh, water pump housing. So we've got this uh, floating over here, and you can see that it's um, we've got a very similar shape here to what's on the engine block. So it's going to be going here. So what we need to do first is we need to create some entities. So if we go to the add a plane, we can now zoom in on the area that we want to create a plane on. So we hold control, click on the plane, and that will create that. And then click create once you're happy. And you can close that uh, menu. Then if you click on create a circle, you can now choose that plane to constrain to, so if we now hold control again and click, it will then select the geometry. Um, and every time you click on a, one of these entities, it will put you into the best selection tool for creating that entity. So this one here is similar curvature, and we can click create. Go on to the next one, choose the plane again that you want to constrain to, and then um, then hold control and click onto the cylinder that you want to create a circle from. Okay, so we've got our entities created now for the, the water pump housing. Now we need to activate the engine block. We go to the engine block and repeat the process. So create an entity, a plane first, and you can add more and more geometry as you wish. And it will obviously tell you the error uh, and deviation of that plane so you can see that you're doing it accurately or not. So I've created that plane, move on to creating a circle entity, and then I choose the plane, hold control, select the geometry. So now I've created that. If you want to override the, um, the diameter of that circle, you can. So if you wanted to make it round numbers, you could. And we go create. Choose the plane again, click on the geometry and click create. So we now have the entities we need to do an entity based alignment in this model. So if we now click on the water pump housing, we can go up to here and we have our alignment options. So there's many different options, like you can just do an alignment using um, entities just to the XYZ coordinates. You can do like a point selection, you can do a best fit. Um, once you've done an alignment to one part, let's say I've aligned the engine block to XYZ I, and everything else, let's say, was aligned to that as well, you can apply alignments that you've done um, to other entities or other meshes to make them transform in the same um, way. And this is the entity based tool. So I'm going to click on that. And we're going to choose the fixed item as the engine block. So the engine block is fixed. And we've already got the water pump housing um, selected. So that will be floating. So plane number one, we're going to choose. And number plane, plane number five, we're going to link those up together. So here you can see it's kind of not showing in the right um, direction. It's going inwards. So we need to flip that plane, so we click on that. Okay, next we need to choose circle one, and we need to choose circle one. Then we'll try circle two, and we'll go circle two. Okay, so that, that doesn't quite look right either. So let's try circle one or circle two, and we'll close that. And we'll try uh, circle two with circle one. Alright, so now let's have a look at that. And you can see here that it's now aligned perfectly 
onto the side of the engine and in essence is taking on the um, coordinate system of the engine so we can click align and now if I go to a predefined maybe top view you can see it's sitting there perfectly in the correct place and if we go to y negative it's also sitting in the correct place and x negative it's just mounted onto it perfectly if you also want to do an entity based alignment with a little bit more visibility we could for example go to um, a y positive view and turn on clip view and you can see here that we've clipped it away enough that we can see the entities and to see if um, basically our mounting points uh, are lining up correctly and they are lining up very nicely so that is how you can do an entity based alignment with the VX model.